Hey guys, Trip here. And today we're going to be doing a review on another Ice Star motor. That one over there. Uh, let me just get around to the specs of it. Uh, let's try and get it in the camera. It's the BR2212 1800 kV motor. Um, got this off Banggood. I tend to buy all of these cheap little budget RC things off Banggood because they've got fairly decent prices and they got free shipping. But yeah, um, I could put this on a thrust bench and test the amount of thrust that it has and how many amps it pulls and you know, I don't think that's really helpful when it comes to testing out a motor. Because you put a motor on a test bench for like 10 seconds on a 4 cell battery and it produces 1.2 kilograms of thrust. It's not practical, it doesn't really work in the real world. I've been flying this plane with this motor and an 8x4 prop. It's recommended for 8x6 but I fly on an 8x4 and I've been flying for quite some time with this particular model and this motor does not heat up. I'm only using an 18 amp ESC for the 8x4 prop and the ESC doesn't really heat up that much either. I, mean, I can understand why not because it's like it's negative, it's below zero outside but still in a practical sense it works quite fine. Now enough of me talking about the motor. Let's see how it flies. Um, this motor's strong. I mean it's really strong. You'll see when I launch the plane. I'm, I, I can launch it on about a half throttle and then I can pretty much take it up vertical. So I'm just going to give it 50% throttle. Oh, throttle cut for it. Just 50% throttle. <laughs> If I'm inverted for this particular plane, I mean this motor's just got so much power. I think I've got like 1.5 to 1 thrust to weight. Obviously the thrust being a lot more than the weight. But if I come in inverted, like, oops, I can pull out of this just by pushing the stick up. I mean, that's more than enough power in this little jet. Um, the jet weighs about 484 grams, including the motor, the prop, and the battery. Or 490 grams, and I get about just over 800 grams of thrust off the motor. Which is more than enough for what I need to do for this little platform. I mean, look at this. Just, you can scream around anyway. I'm at half throttle, you're flying perfectly. I mean, I can still roll over just using half the throttle. And inverted like this is a breeze. And I'm just gonna come down, sort of a low pass inverted, and then I'm gonna speed up right in front of us. I mean, this motor's just got more than enough power. Um, with these race star motors, um, they don't have the best quality magnets and they don't have the best quality bearings, but I mean, you pay so little for them, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can't pay five euros for an RC motor that is 1,800 kV, can turn an eight by six prop and give you this kind of thrust and expect everything to be top notch quality. No, that's just not going to happen. It's unrealistic. But for what it's worth, this motor is... Man, if you're on a budget and you're trying to put a plane together and it's your second or third plane, go with these Chinese race star motors. They really, really, really are not bad motors. And in, and in the real world, they work. They're really practical. I mean, this prop 
both the combination is really fast on this place. And I've got more than enough trust. I mean, just look at this. That's possible. What more do I need? I mean, honestly, I can't complain about this. I really, really like it. So, I'm gonna continue the fly until my battery's flat. Uh, for this race car motor, recommend it? Yes, I do recommend it. I mean, after seeing me flying this plane with this little motor, why wouldn't I recommend it? I mean, just look at that. I can go vertical on a dime and I can just keep climbing. Without stopping, I can just keep going. Look at that. Well, could you ask for anything more? I guess you could, but this is good enough for me. This is really good enough for me. This little race star motor really gives a lot of kick. I mean, look at that. That's just completely vertical. Without any problems whatsoever. It really likes the 8x4 prop. The motor doesn't heat up at all. Uh, I mean, I expected, like, it's a warm-up an 18 amp ESC, but it doesn't, so that means this amp draw isn't that bad either. And if you just want to sit in the sky and hover a little bit, my hovers are not the best, but you can. I mean, look at that. I'm really happy with this little motor. For me, it flies really well. I mean, look at that. You can just, you, know, you can make this little jet do anything you want. And even on half throttle, I mean, it's still got quite a decent amount of thrust. Half throttle or thrust is about a one to one. And then there's this. And when you cut the throttle, you've got quite a bit of brake as well. And if I cut the throttle over here from full throttle, that the comes, prop comes to a dead standstill with the magnets really quickly. Now I can just roll into the heavens for days. Cut the throttle. Okay, I'm gonna come in for a landing right now. Uh, that's me and this race car motor. Uh, if you guys do buy the motor, you're probably gonna go up. Okay, I keep forgetting that this you gotta carry the throttle all the way to the end. And it's snowing and the jet is completely open on the underside, so I have to sort of crack land it. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so that's a review for this little race star motor. Do I recommend it? Yes. Am I happy with it? Yes. Props a bit unbalanced. That comes from Banger too, but that we'll discuss in another video.
That was good flying. I enjoyed it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Go well. Cheers.